Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Competitive Botany. In this video, we are going to deal incomplete dominance and co-dominance. Actually, these both are exceptions to Mendel laws of inheritance. So, let's start the class. So, incomplete dominance is also called as monogenic quantitative inheritance or phenotypic blending. So, we all know that according to Mendel, F1 hybrid always expresses the dominant character. But after Mendel, several cases have been recorded where F1 hybrids show a blending of characters that means in a heterozygote dominant allele does not completely mask the phenotypic expression of recessive allele and there occurs an intermediate phenotype in the heterozygote. So I will explain it in detail. Look at the cross. So when AA parent is crossed with BB parent according to the law of dominance proposed by Mendel uh, the heterozygote nothing but F1 hybrid should expresses only one of the allele that allele is called as dominant allele and it masks the other allele due to its dominant nature so but here the situation is different that means it is exception to Mendel law. Here the heterozygote expressing an intermediate phenotype. So such a cross is called as incomplete dominance. Okay. Let's see in detail. So this is called incomplete dominance. Uh, this was proposed by the scientist Karl Korenz. Here the dominant allele is not fully dominant over the recessive allele. It is due to the fact that alleles of allelomorphic pair may be dominant or recessive but they are equally potent. That means so A and B genes are equally potent. There is no dominant and recessive relationship. In such a cases the blending occurs only in the phenotype of the F1 heterozygotes only. And the two alleles maintain their individuality. The alleles segregate during gametogenesis and produce an F2 progeny having the phenotype and genotype ratios such as 1 is to 2 is to 1. So you have to know that for complete, for incomplete dominance, phenotypic and genotypic uh, ratios are same. So you have to remember that heterozygous condition actually obtained in F1 hybrids that expresses an intermediate phenotype. So have a look. Uh, Snapdragon and 4 o'clock plant. Uh, Snapdragon scientific name is Anterinum mages. 4 o'clock plant scientific name is Mirabilis jalapa. They provide good examples for incomplete dominance. So, have a look. When red colored flowers plant is crossed with white flowered plant. Okay. Then the F1 hybrid P plant, then the F1 hybrid plants are found to have pink flowers. Which is an intermediate character. So, it shows that gene for red color could not completely dominate the white color as shown in the figure. Okay. So, the gene for red color could not completely dominate the gene for white color. Okay. So, that is nothing but incomplete dominance. Thus, the F1 hybrid does not resemble to any one of the parent. So, look at the punnet board. Only one red colored flowered plant and two pink flowered plants and one white flowered plants obtained in the F2 progeny. In the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1. 
Look at the Punnett board. Only one red phenotype obtained, two pink phenotypes obtained and one white phenotype obtained. Okay, so the genotypic and phenotypic ratios are same for incomplete dominance. Such as 1 is to 2 is to 1. Two heterozygous plants obtain with a genotype capital R small r. Similarly, uh, let's see the another example for incomplete dominance. Uh, feather color genes in birds are also showing the same kind of inheritance. When a homozygous Andalusian fowl that is uh, having black feathers is crossed with homozygous fowl with splashed white feathers, uh, the F1 hybrids are found to contain blue feathers. So, when a cross is made between uh, black feathered Andalusian fowl and white feathered, spl uh, splashed white feathered Andalusian fowl, the F1 hybrids are produced having blue feathers. So, here also the F1 hybrid does not resemble to any one of the parent. It does not resemble to any one of the parent. So, a mating between two blue fowls gives offspring in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1. Here also the same thing obtained. Phenotypic and genotypic ratios are same. 1 is to 2 is to 1. Look at the punnet board. One black feathered bird two blue feathered birds and again one white feathered bird obtained in the F2 generation. So, let's see the second category or second phenomenon such as codominance. This is also exception to Mendel law of dominance. Sometimes both the alleles of a gene in a heterozygote lack the dominant and recessive relationship. That means each allele capable of some degree of phenotypic expression. It is nothing but in heterozygous condition, both the alleles are equally dominant and they show their independent expression. You should remember. They show the two alleles of a gene, they show their independent expression. In a sense, Codominance is no dominance at all. The heterozygote showing the phenotypes of both the homozygotes. Okay. The heterozygote showing uh, the both the homozygotes. That means it expressing both the alleles equally. You should remember. Here heterozygote phenotype gives rise to a phenotypic distinctly different from either of the homozygous genotypes. So, I will explain it in detail. Uh, so, actually, uh, the joint expression of both alleles in a heterozygote is called as codominance. The joint expression of both alleles of a gene in a heterozygote is called codominance. So, AB blood group in humans represents a classical example of codominance. So, when Landsteiner and Levine tested red blood cells of various people, they found that first three general types such as A blood group, B blood group and AB blood groups. Okay. So, uh, they are represented as LA, LB or the alleles. Okay. So, both are the alleles A and B. There are two alleles. They produce glycoproteins A, B respectively that are present on the surface of RBC, red blood cells and they act as antigens. There are two alleles known as LA, LB. So, they produce glycoproteins A, B respectively. They are present on the surface of RBC. They act as 
antigens. Look at the table. The ABO blood group system exhibits co-dominance. So the blood group in humans controlled by the three alleles. Actually two alleles, A and B alleles. Okay, so both A and B are dominant in relation to zero, nothing but O. And therefore, blood group A can have the genotype IAIA or IAI0. Similarly, blood group B have the genotype IBIB or IBI0. Whereas, blood group AB consists IAIB genotype. So, look at the diagram carefully, look at the cross carefully. So, when A parent, A blood group parent is crossed with the B, B blood group parent, so then the F1 hybrid having both the alleles such as capital A and capital B. So, which is expressing uh, the third type of blood group, nothing but AB blood group. So, when a mating between heterozygotes such as uh, AABB which is crossed with another AB blood group would result in 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio. So a phenotypic ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 has thus replaced the 3 is to 1 ratio because the alleles are both expressed in the heterozygote. That means the alleles are codominant. Here, here also the phenotypic and genotypic ratios are same such as 1 is to 2 is to 1.